Welcome to Enlightened TV, home of trending news, where we publish news on politics, entertainment, celebrity, and metal news. Today, we'll be talking about Archbishop Benson Idahosa, how he died. Archbishop Benson Idahosa, full name Archbishop Benson Andrew Idahosa was born in September 11, 1938 and died March 12, 1998 in loving memory of Benson Idahosa. He continues to speak loudly even in death. What many do not know is that he actually described in vivid terms how he was to depart when his time was over and that was exactly what happened on the day he died at the ripe young age of 59 years and six months his last sermon was titled benefit of death he kept on shouting that day as i watched for me to live is Christ, for me to die is gain. And he asked, Are you afraid of gain? Why are you afraid of death? That message was another evidence that as controversial as he might have seen truly, Idahosa was a man of God. He said this, I will go when my work is finished. Therefore, when I am gone, nobody should be double-minded concerning the will of God for my death. I am going to go by the will of God, not the will of witches or wizards. No man can kill me. Many have tried to hurt me spiritually and physically, but to no avail. God has not given the key of the fault in which he has hidden me to any man or devil. He did not invest so much in me only to hand me over to the devil to fulfill his dark and unholy idiocracies. I am indestructible by the grace of God. So are you if you know my Jesus. You know, here in a dull land, I do not know how about you and where you come from. But here in Edo land, where I am from, when a man dies, the wife is always accused of having killed him. I share a beautiful wife. I share a beautiful life with my wife, Margaret, at least as beautiful as my human nature and God's grace in my life can make it. She is not dreaming of killing me. She is the flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone the wife of my youth and the mother of my lovely four children. No one, when I go, it will be by the will and the call of God. You may ask if I am preparing to die. Not at all. I hope to live for at least 120 years. I look forward to when I will hobble into the church with my walking stick and sit back on my big chair to listen and watch my children in the ministry show for the stuff which God had invested in them through the ministry of God committed to me but and this is the big but if the Lord calls me before then if he calls me now I am ready to answer here am I Lord with joy and expectation because death is gain yes yes ha I see heaven open and the voice that I hear says, Come up tighter. My going will be a glorious one. I will not be sick and be taken from one hospital to the other. Like Elijah grew, I will go before you can say Jack Robinson. No, nobody will mourn me with great because of a prolonged in illness. Nobody will have the pleasure of sympathizing with me because of long suffering. That is one of the gifts which I do not have, the gift of long-suffering. 
when my day comes i may be sitting with people in the church and will go when i hear the call like reverend gordon lindsay did it is a glorious way to depart i may be with people at home and while we are talking i will be gone just like that on thursday the 12th march 1998 idahosa started the day as busy as always in his office he asked for a cup of tea which he did not drink up he told one of his staff members i am going home this was not strange but when he repeated it unnecessarily there was a reason to suspect the unusual but no one noticed what was going to take place later that afternoon at lunch with the guests he spoke about heaven he asked them whether they believed it was possible for one to walk into heaven like elijah did he said he would prefer to be translated like enoch and elijah he told them he had a heavenly dream in his cup he took the pure heaven juice on the table and drank from it making a humorous statement about going to heaven the drink tasted like heaven's drink he told his guests his high sense of humor was paraded on that day he had received members of an educational foundation team from the u.s based u.s based or roberts university at the christian faith university after ministering in church he excused himself to go to miracle center his church office and prayed with different segments of people at the church office and including the bible school student before he went back to meet his guests at home it was a busy period at the headquarters of gcgmii the archbishop had just returned from one of his many tours this time from the uk member of or our Robert University Educational Fellowship, OREF, were at the headquarters of Ward of Faith Group of Schools for the yearly OREF program. They were led by Professor Don Petri, a friend of the Benthony Daosa University and a professor of Christian education at the Oral Robert University. Both he and all the American participants at the conference were guests at the Archbishop's home. It was an early afternoon and Idahosa and his guests were at the table. A characteristic humor of the Archbishop exciting laughter and chatter punch with his lunch. It was a sumptuous meal and both local and international guests were satisfied. Pure Heaven was the name of the drink they were all drinking as he came the caption started another round of conversation it was about heaven then suddenly there was a whoosh as the archbishop broke into good nature conversation and asked how many of you are ready to go to heaven right now you see he cautioned all christians talked about heaven and it's beautiful and desirable but not no one is prepared to go there straight away I have news for you. I am prepared to go to heaven right now. Anyone going with me? Everyone was silent. The mood of the dinner changed and they went to their home rooms. The high bishop called the professor Don Petri to join him in one of the mainly sitting rooms in the new Benson Idahosa University. He indicated those aspects of the master's plan he had implemented and requested the professor to continue from where he was ending. Yet, Professor Don Petri did not understand the meaning of the Archbishop's words. The Archbishop was the symbol of the university. It could not have entered the mind of anybody that he would be translated a few minutes later. Shortly after, he had spoken instructing a deaconess on what the guests should eat for dinner. He began to repeat the words, Thank you, Jesus. Then, suddenly, threw his back head back on the easy chair 
and gave up the ghost. That was how Idaosa departed. Professor Don Petri did not immediately understand what has happened until later he realized he was gone. He was not sick. He never had high blood pressure. He was never down. Even the doctors were surprised that he died because he was not sick at all. I may be with people at home and while we are talking, I will be gone just like that. That will be a precious death, he once said days before his departure. Archbishop Benson Idaosa is the undisputed prophet and apostle of Christendom in the 20th century. He went to be with the Lord gloriously. I wonder the number of people that will join him that way. The big question is, are you ready to depart? To be with the Lord at any point or moment of your life? Can you be ready to depart now? Drop your comment. Let's get to hear from you. I urge you at this point to share this video to as many people as possible to get to hear their comment too. Don't fail to hit on the red subscribe button below this video and the bell icon beside it to stay updated. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. God bless us.